accident city. For some reason, I thought it said accident square, and I was like, well, that's a pretty apt name in retrospect. Come on down to the accident square. <laughs> So, this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car? According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. <clears throat> Feels like Chinatown. Paula, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay? I'm a little curious about... The park over there, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we go back to that scene? There was something really funny happening there. Excuse me. Um, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Whoa! That husky voice! Why am I suddenly Ooh, I sweating? That husky voice. Okay. Alright, note taken. Mm-hmm. That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Oh, I love that animation. <laughs> <sighs> money sounds like something my son would call his friends. Wait, what? 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 Hey, money. Oh, the, like like me with the other members like of Sing Dinner Team? Uh, no, he's friends with the monkey. <laughs> This is the Kitaki family mansion, little girl. Uh... Yo, kid with the hair. You want something? Uh, me? Uh, no, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? B b but the, the Kitaki family... The biggest organized crime syndicate in town! Whoa! If you're gonna ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. That was fucking awesome! Yeah. Oh, oh my Shinderu. That was incredible video game! Ugh! Right. <clears throat> yeah. Way to whip him into shape, ma'am. Yay. Yay. You pulled a knife on you me. Threat you threatened him with a sword. Does she know no fear? I'm Plum. Plum Kitaki. Wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. Uh, um, Little Apollo Justice. Attorney at law. <laughs> I'm just a small boy. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Mrs. Plum. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Plum. <laughs> if looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm digging this really quick because I gotta see. Oh God oh. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Should have just talked to her. <sighs> Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. Pretty sus. <laughs> I bet she has a story, you know? There is something about her. Too bad she seems in a bit of a rush. What's going on with this lady back here? <laughs> I can't even tell what that is. Looks like some old woman's trying to get over the oh, yeah, trying fence. To, yeah, some trying to climb the fence. But there's also like a... EMT truck there? Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Now don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's... Quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss! Stay out of the park! He got mad. 
No, I was just disappointed. Um... <laughs> That's even worse! Did something happen here, officer? Huh? Uh, no. Move along. Nothing to see. Okay, so something definitely happened here. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids! Well, I'm not, and we're not playing! I'm an attorney! Something wrong? Oh, shit. Ah, Detective Sky. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Yay! Yay! Woo! Grown up Yay! Emma Sky! Grown up Emma Sky! She's adorable! And I love the little remix version of her theme. Song. Oh, yeah, it is. That's cool. Chat yeah. is popping off for Emma right now. Hell yeah. Emma's fucking rad. No, I, I, I loved Emma in the original game. <laughs> De detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not... Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Or I might make you drink some luminol fluid. <laughs> Want a dose of experimental hydro... Hydroxyl cell... You... Not... Desitrace? Wes, I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you another take at it. If you say it really quickly, I'll edit it like you never fucked it up the first time, and then we'll be very impressed that you got this on the first run. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more what go. A dose ahead. of experimental hydroxyacillinodestrase? Whoa, you said it so good. What wow, the fuck? Wes, you must first be like a try? or something. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Wes, the chemistry major. What? Come again? What's <laughs> hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Wow, I didn't know Emma Whoa. could be a kind of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, how are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yeah, we totally ignored her after making a big deal out of it. Oh yeah, that nice woman. Oh, I thought she wasn't here for She's a second. Gone. And ah. I was like, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> the Katakis. Little plot. A really cute name for someone, so yes. <laughs> Whoa, oh. what is uh, you? Sorry. You're good. What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh, that seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer, I live for needless procedures. <laughs> Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> that's a good line, video game. Oh, little girl. You should know. We're gangsters. Gangster? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy! Through me! Please, I'm begging you here! <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So, you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. There was a car accident here last night? Last night? Uh, of course you wouldn't know about it. Uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, 
Wait. Yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? What the fuck is up with Phoenix Wright? That's my daddy. <laughs> I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point, man. Hey, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate her hey using there, the word capo, capo because I was gonna say that is uh, Italian. Character. Why is she using an Italian word? Fucking look at her. What about this design? <laughs> Says Italian, but sure. Capo, point man, Metal Gear. Um, <laughs> could you avoid using too much? Uh, Industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Ah. Cleaning up this... Paint? Splatter paint. Did they play Splatoon 3 here? Hello. Was the No, paint... no, it was Foam Stars. Oh, God. Was the paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. car that hit your father knocked over this paint, then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. It's glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons? No. <laughs> Don't you nah. have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Nah, they're off somewhere gooning right now. I hate this. We will, <laughs> we will never. Don't you have any zigzag goons? We will never escape the goon jokes. It's goons. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Please go through me when you want to. <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community oriented gangsters, you see. Boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just the paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. <laughs> what? I think she said that she put stuff from the street. Yeah, I think she was cleaning up garbage. Oh, 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 I think sorry, he sorry. means, like, did she throw it away in that? It's, I mean, it's uh, still a weird thing to be like, I cleaned up garbage, and then go, maybe that trash can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I ask you a question? I don't know, can you? Uh. Damn it. <laughs> what? What happened in the park across the street? Oh, yes. Quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. What does that mean? Chicago? Huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding! What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house, too? A crime without honor. Without remorse. It's 
a private matter. Wanna hear about it? Somehow, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. <sighs> so, what happened at your house? Bloomers. Last night. Wait, do you have Trucy's panties? Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little oh. Plum Kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. God fucking damn it. Why? What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? We've got a regular serial panty thief. Got you just too, what does the world they? come to? <laughs> Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is the is a hardened criminal. Again, I think we just go to the hospital and arrest Hottie. It will be fine. <laughs> Even if it's not him, it's still okay. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't you, was it? Arresting him is a victimless crime. <laughs> no, of course not! Mercy! I've heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. I, I, I for some reason I thought that said I've heard the, I've, I've heard that the word panties has been disappearing lately. Nobody's using it anymore. Yeah, that's what, that's what they, they were saying. They stole all of Hearts. our, all of our. <gasps> they're gone. Our, are gone. <clears throat> all are gone. <gasps> you can't say. Why not? All of our. Are gone. Why can't we say it? <laughs> <laughs> They're a regular snatcher. <laughs> and the missing all have something in common. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it's hard to imagine Trucy's and Mrs. Kataki's pantings. Fuck off, Apollo, having Pant much in common. Pantings. Panties having much in common. I just imagine Miss Kataki's <laughs> panties. Ugh. I know. We'll, fi we'll find your bloomers too. Great. Show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? I mean, look, getting in good graces with the uh, mafia is never a bad thing. Yeah. This girl's name is Clover. I'm calling it now. <laughs> just a guess. Uh, oh, hi. She looks a lot different than she did in 999 and she left the war. <laughs> well, to be fair, she looked a lot different in both of those games. I was, I, yep. I was thinking that's like, oh yeah, she used to, they completely altered her appearance. Mm -hmm. The only thing that was there to uh, signify her was the pink hair. Mm -hmm. Other than that, completely pink hair, different twin character. tails, but everything I else. Remember, I, don't boob even city. What, I don't even remember what she looks like in the first game. Now that Just I think like about it. covered up. Nerd girl. Just because in the second one she's wearing hardly Nothing. any clothes. Yeah. <laughs> that girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Uh, um, hello, mother. She's a Kataki too. Um, um, miss, miss. Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? The anything agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? <laughs> so, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Uh, goodbye. That was a weird animation for a second there. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Listen, Apollo, if they animated this character, she's going to show up later in this case. Okay. 
Well, I'm assuming we have to examine the garbage can. Because they made a point. We're allowed to. That's a good point. There's a big trash can on the way into the park. I guess we could check it out. Yeah, now they're gonna stop you. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. It was hottie. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? Petrucci, cars don't wear shoes. Oh, is it truck nuts? <laughs> <laughs> truck nuts. It's a side view mirror. Pair of truck nuts. It looks like it was torn off and it smacked into something. Or someone. It smacked into your dad's face. <laughs> Wait. You don't think. I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. It's a mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? Oh. I hate when they do mechanics like this. Just let yeah. me have both pieces of evidence. Yeah. I don't want to have to come back here and switch things when I don't have to. Come on. Um, come it's on. It's the thing where, like, the mirror makes more sense. But I feel like the slippers because they're stupid. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I'm worried at some point we're gonna need both. And yeah, just, like, that could which be. Which one do we need first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In which case, I'll just make something. Yeah, uh, something. I'll take the slippers. Slippers crammed into a pocket. <laughs> Genius. All right, let's dip. I'm not sure if they let us do that after telling us we couldn't go near the park. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's go to the scene of stand theft. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. No. Or it's no. Pew, pew, pew. Man, we gotta stop making Soldier Boy references in 2023. I'll do noodles. No, no, his game console's coming out soon. Oh yeah, Prey, just definitely coming out. Uh, <laughs> uh, the scene of the stand theft. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from? I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. But we can't fit it in our pockets because we already have the slippers. <laughs> hey! What? Huh. There's a police car parked over there. Also, bargain. Three shots for the price of one. And Maractus <laughs> Clinic. Maractus Clinic. Isn't that a Pokemon? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's it's the Mara Maraca Cactus. Maractus. Wait, is it actually? Yeah, there's I mean, Maractus. There is Maraca Fuck me. Yeah, I think it's Maractus. Wow, shit. No, yeah, you're right. Fuck. Yeah. You're right. And what's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? And there's a sign. Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. Here's a very good callback joke. Uh, is that where Cac Taser lives? <laughs> wow, nice. The thief? Yeah. The one who snatched my panty. He ran into this clinic last night. Ah. Wait. Maybe that police car is here <laughs> to find my panties. I doubt it. We're part of the Metro Police Special Panty Investigation Brigade. <laughs> These are their stories. Bum bum. I was gonna Pit. say C <laughs> CSI panties. Some crimes are considered especially <laughs> heinous. Panty thief. <laughs> These are their stories. <laughs> dum, dum, da, dum, da. <laughs> well, well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. 
Oh, it's Guy. Ah, there you are, Sonny. Because the name Guy is just like a guy. Oh, All like, right. Is is there just some guy around the corner talking yeah, to us? Yeah, I now? actually forgot. I forgot that old dude's name was yeah. Guy for a mm-hmm. second. Now, come on, Lee. Let's go. I just love Pipe Guy very much. Uh, well, you find to... anything yet? Uh, n- no, not yet. Still forget that you do that. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. <laughs> All right, tell us about the noodles. So, your stand. Eldun's noodles, was it? Aye. Passed down from father to son. That stand seen its share of salt. Mm hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. Are you related to Lot's wife? Bible spoilers, by the way. I bet high blood pressure does too. So. Your stand, Eldun's noodles, was stolen. Oh, oh it so wasn't that's, just a... okay. So his stand power. Well, not the stand power. Eldun's noodles does. <laughs> Turns you into <laughs> pillar salt, just like Lot's wife. Oh. oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand. I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. It happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. I guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease, then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning. Before the sun rose. Work starts early. How many people are buying fucking morning bowls of rum? Do, yeah, thank you, Apollo. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. (laughs) When noodles are on a bagel, you can eat noodles anytime. (laughs) That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? Oh, my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look, there, on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. It's weirder that you keep interacting with us when we bring this up. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth. Not some pretty girl's panties. Okay, again, it's just getting weirder for you, guy. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, wear normal underwear. The garage, right? You don't think the thief lives there, do you? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Hmm. I detect a little animosity here. Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Okay. Two things. He's got a dog. Being a dog owner, I gotta look at it. Look! A doggy! 
Good boy. Good boy, Salty. I was wondering who it was going to be. I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. You know it's going to be Salty, Apollo. Yeah. Yep, sure does. Oh. Name's Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. Also, that's incredibly funny that he runs a noodle stand and has a dog named Spoon, an instrument you I... would never use when eating noodles. <laughs> she didn't get a bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. You can't give that to dogs! <laughs> Is that all you've been giving this dog? Says who, Zach? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Poor little thing. <sighs> Apollo, let's find that stand soon for Spoon's sake. Jesus, I'm just thinking about how terrible for Magnus Spoon's Shits would sake. be. Yeah. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Call me crazy. <laughs> Is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey. That there's the heart and soul of Eldoon's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon it's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. Do you wash your bowls? All my other bowls got taken away with my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy. I'm begging you. Okay, I'm very glad I clicked on that. I do want to hear a comment if he says something no. about the no. That's quite a sign, I suppose. I take that it's no as opposed as opposed to old. What does that mean? I think it's supposed to be new as opposed to old. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay, video game. Yeah. Ah, you like it? I did it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but ran out of space. And you never fixed it? Or got another <laughs> sign? Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it smells a word all by itself. And spruces up my image, it does. It, but it doesn't. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the fucks? I guess we just... Yeah, what's going on with this police car? I'd understand if it was an ambulance outside, but a police car? <laughs> maybe... Maybe there's Zack! Thank you. Yeah, I damn was, it, I was, was gonna make that joke, Prince! Uh, hey, and if either of you didn't, <laughs> I was going to as well. <laughs> Maybe they're tax evaders. Uh, sorry, miss. No going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. We look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this Maractus clinic. We could ask Mr. Eldoon. He is their neighbor and he is their neighbor and all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? <sighs> Okay. Uh, I imagine... Does that give us a new dialogue option? It does! Alright! Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning... That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor! <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. <laughs> 
the wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Okay. Oh, he's a mob yeah, doctor. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, is he a mob doctor? Uh, let's check out the garage. Also... It looks like the tea got cut off. Yeah, the tea got fucked up, huh? Oh. Marac Maracus Clinic. Maracus, yeah. yeah. It's like Marac semicolon is clinic. <laughs> Marac <laughs> is clinic. Garage. It's like a really shitty movie title. Marac is clinic. Garage. I wanna make that movie. <laughs> Ooh. Skellington. And a cat. This, this <gasps> is the place. This is where that panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clue to a panty snatching. Clue <laughs> like a pair of panties. <sighs> Trucy. <laughs> Did you try not saying <laughs> panties so many times? Panty. Some people hate that word. Look hey. at the cat. Look at the cat. Is the cat's name Shoe? Hey, a kitty cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Yeah. It's not coming down. Cats are pretty famous for not doing that. Oh, I thought you were saying for meowing. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. <laughs> His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. There's a, there's a thing Pink standing thing. out here, yeah. There's... Oh, shit, this car is green. It's missing the thing. And missing his mirror, yeah. Uh -oh. I was like somehow the skeleton wasn't like the second mo the second thing you looked at. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just a skeleton. <laughs> He's nothing weird about he, that. He didn't break the law. That There's... we know of. Maybe, maybe that's the driver. Mm, you know what? You got me. Oh. Yeah, at least question him first. <laughs> we cut. We got you dead to rights. Yeah. We got a bone to pick with you, yeah. Mr. Skeleton. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's something in the muff. Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff. <laughs> that no. reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Apparently, there was a car with a piece of cloth shoved in the tailpipe. Piece of ladder. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow. I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. I always check the tailpipe. And if there's not any cloth in there, I make sure I stick one in there. <laughs> gotta plant <laughs> evidence where I can. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey, there is something in there. What? Wait a second. Are these your... No fucking way. Ah! My panties. I'm so mad. Yay! What? Already? Mission accomplished. Pant Panty get. Wow. Thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing! No, no, really, don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. Jesus fucking Christ. Like you this. Must have it. This feels like a bit that they wrote in a Danganronpa game, not a Shu Takami game. Like, I, I'm not a fan. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Please, God, don't say that, Trucy. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. <laughs> They've come home to sucks. Mama. 
I can't wait to use this. This sucks. <laughs> so game. bad. I don't want to play this game anymore. You know what? Uh, all right, we're we're gonna we're gonna jump straight to investigations too now. Uh, my gag again. <laughs> You're gonna put them on now? Watch closely now. <laughs> See. Nothing in my panties. I'm not looking, Trucy. I'm actively looking away. Ta-da! That's a bowl. How did you do this? Whoa! Where did that come from? Did you steal the stand? How did that bowl get into your panties? <laughs> is, the entire, is the entire stand in your panties? Well, Pridge? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. See? They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Don't quit your day job. Magic <laughs> panties? They left them over at the Wonder Bar. That's a gay bar, right? <laughs> I hope so. Also, Wonder Bar is very funny. I hate that I'm she's sure doing magic panty nightly. tricks there, though. No. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. Okay. Well, I'm glad that'll Yay. never come up again in the rest of the game. Uh, yeah. We entered it into the evidence just for show. Uh-huh. Well... That's one case closed, at least. Only half closed. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with my, the tool of my trade. Oh, right. <laughs> Please, let's not. <sighs> Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Are we going to have to go back and get the fucking thing just to make a connection? We might. <sighs> Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm. I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. What is the the thing on it? Uh, is it just like a watch? Oh, I can't actually look up more than that. Okay. Oh. Can you spin it the the other axis? Oh, the other okay. axis. Oh. Okay. Look at this cute little watch strap. I want one. It's kind of odd though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right. Sharp, Apollo. Thanks. Finally, some respect. So, what does that tell? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details, for one. They did drop their phone, after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Unless there's something on the back. Nope. Okay. Hello. Are we allowed to get anything from this? Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue! What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue, a clue! A clue? Oh, god damn it. Uh, Fuck uh, off. You don't do this video game. <laughs> not that I can it's think not, of. It's not a good mechanic. No. Then what were you smiling about? Well, I wasn't smiling. I was frowning, because we're going to have to do some backtracking. Uh, 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 
Oh shit, that was her oh. sneeze. Well, don't make that fair. I you <laughs> are so misleading, man. I know yawns are contagious, but sneezes? Well, That's technically, Apollo. Mm, well, I'm sure there's got to be a clue somewhere. Let's keep checking things out. Nah, let's leave and yeah. come back. Yeah, we're going to have to do Let's that. at least check the skeleton first. Yeah, good thing there's nothing else uh, in this room that the chat wants us to look at at all. Spooky, <laughs> scary skeleton. Yeah! Someone's there! Oh, it's just a gold-painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton? And painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's everything in this that's, room. Uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. I got you, chat. Oh! Look, it's a folding ladder. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. <laughs> it's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that it's basically a ladder, right? Wait. Huh? You have to look past the form, at the essence of the thing. Mm, can we talk about something else? Okay. <laughs> I feel like Shu Takumi has run out of jokes for this, and <laughs> pointing it out is the joke, but having too much of a conversation will just ruin it. Let's go <laughs> grab the thing. Oh, I know something you don't. I think I have just the clue you've got in mind. My clue is this! Whoa. Whoa. It's the same color and size and everything. A perfect map. We literally just... I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on it. Look at this color. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Wow. I smacked into something. Or someone. Well, <laughs> looks like we've just solved a case. So the car that hit Daddy last... ...is sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow. I'll put an explosive device on the underside of it so we can get our revenge on the guy <laughs> who drives it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, Trucy? Whoa. You put the pro in professional hitman, Apollo? <laughs> uh, gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo? Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. <laughs> He doesn't seem like the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. What do you mean? We literally have a major... We solve one of the mysteries and have a major clue. Yeah, yeah. That's worth reporting. I, th I think so, too. Uh, I think going back and talking to Phoenix... It's probably, it's probably a good probably stopping good, point. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good spot. Yeah, stopping me too. Point once, we, once we go back and talk to him. Me, too. Me, Here to the thing. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy. Not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old daddy -o get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. <laughs> uh, 
Isn't he only 33? Yeah, we need our rest. We do. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Apollo. Um, why, why do you think we don't stream longer? I have to go to bed by 1045. <laughs> um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Uh, tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. You did what, you son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Almost like he was the one who stole them. You did what, you son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you have an interesting concept of praise. And... Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Maractus Clinic anyway? Well, maybe you should ask me about it. <laughs> All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. Fuck off. The Kentucky family. The Kentucky family. You know. They got their fried chicken and... Uh, <laughs> their boss, the colonel. The colonel. <laughs> The they call him the Colonel. They call their goons the Appalachian Boys. Um, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose! No, I'm They're pretty sure it's pronounced Kentucky. <laughs> They're serving up KFC, Kentucky Family Crime. <laughs> Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looked like something had happened in that park. Uh, a body was found in there, found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not a concern in any, in any case. Something tells me it will be. Ah. Ah. Right. Let's ignore that very interesting fact that a murder happened. Let's ignore <laughs> that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks. Really? If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Oh, maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering... When I get when do I get paid? You don't. We solved the case of your accident and um found a missing article of clothing. Okay, Apollo. Knowing it's a doctor from a place is not solving the case. Yeah, yeah. You, you still don't know the doctor's first name. You also didn't even know if the, the doctor was driving that car that night. Right. Let's let's get a little ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You did find the panties though. Mm-hmm. My panties. That leaves the noodle stand. Uh-huh. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <sighs> hey, that's pretty good. I like that. That's funny. Right. Back to the office to plan our next move. Hey. All and right. folks. That's gonna do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, it's good to be back. Happy to have you here. Uh, and hey, if you wanna watch us, follow us on twitch.tv slash save data team. Support us on patreon.com slash save data team. Be excited for Extra Life happening Saturday, November 19th, 18th, sorry. And uh, be excited for Wes's first solo stream on twitch.tv slash save or sorry, twitch.tv slash respectable on uh, Friday, November 17th. 
Y'all are the best. But until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Uh, Mickey with just a small little thing. I don't think I have actual art for this week. I made some pixel lawyers and Maya with perler beads. I used the second pick as a reference, but changed a few things with some of them. Yeah. Yeah, look at all. That's really cute. Aww. Also, my unhinged fiance saw the holes in Miles and pointed out. I said I couldn't close them without turning him into a puddle. And he responded, oh, that's okay, actually. Matches the holes in his dad. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's incredible. Neil with finally the wire works again. I finished the turnabout Trump drawing I posted a month, I promised a month ago. I really like this case and the dilemma Apollo has to experience both Chris and Nick and the and the concept of justice. Yeah, no, this is really good. Yeah. With like both of them being relegated to like a, a suit, uh, the pressure on Apollo, the lighting on both of them is really, really on all three of them actually is really, really like you made choices, and and they are they are appreciated. Hell yeah! Uh, just a random idiot with wanted to share some photos I took of this clavier Gavin Gavin cosplay I put together for Halloween and wore to campus to hang out with my sibling and a friend who dressed as Trucy and Phoenix. That's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a great cosplay too. Hell yeah, it is. That's so rad. Yeah, this kicks ass. Awesome, just a random idiot. Hell yeah, James with made a personality swap AU with Chris and Clav. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, very good. I like their outfits too a lot. <laughs> Reaper with got two images this week. First is Trucy and Apollo. Also, the cards that Trucy is, is throwing spell Leon. The aces are ones, the skip card is zero, and there's a three to seven. That's incredible! Wow. 10 yeah, out of 10, awesome. Reaper! 10 out of 10! Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. so good! Also, the art is really great. Uh, wow, that joke is so yeah. good. Also, just throwing the Uno card in there is fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, an Uno card in the middle of a real deck is, is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yen with one and two go together, three and four go together. We're getting together. I don't know, Chris. I'm kind of busy this week. Again? Have you even noticed my new glasses? That seems like a non sequitur. I don't get it. This is what is called being basic, or having a type, Trucy. <laughs> yes, you better get back here, Mr. Edgyworth. He's a little mean and seems vaguely European. <laughs> You're in real trouble. <laughs> Why are we taking all these pictures of me giving you money? Because Daddy likes generous people. That's his new type. Really? Sure. Take some other selfies while, while you're buying me cake. That's daddy's type, too. <laughs> <laughs> I do love vaguely European. It's like, oh shit, he's vaguely European and, get, and has glasses. Uh -huh. Edgeworth, you might be in trouble he's here. He's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> he searched inside his every nook and cranny. Why is this description kind of... Anyways, uh, so he was looking for the card. Uh, the what now? Kristoff was also there. He's lying, Justice. Expose him. Press him as long and as hard as you possibly can. You are a dirty, dirty liar. Filthy, even. Oh, we are going to press you so hard. Are you guys doing this on purpose to bully me? Take this card and end this case for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, and we got Bird is the Word. New attorney attempts to expose Phoenix right in court in front of everyone. <laughs> Something about nooks and crannies. All I can say is that, well, I guess technically you can do this in your Maggie voice. Oh yeah, this is Maggie. All I can say is that once again, Phoenix Wright is totally nailing people on the witness stand, on his own defense team, and of course, in the prosecution. But does he still love weenies? There's no way this isn't on purpose. Yeah, Pearls, I am reading it right now. What is going on with this Wheaties comment? <laughs> Miles, I can explain. Please stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, Spider, with I've been in, in this fandom for six slutty, slutty years now, and yet I have, yet somehow I don't think I've ever drawn adult Emma. Anyways, get snackooed, idiot. 
Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's so cool. Let let Emma flip the bird, you know. Yeah. Let Emma say fuck. She's allowed to now. Mm -hmm. Pinky with uh, people say they would be besties, but being completely honest, I think they would hate each other. Gavin. Hawthorne. What the fuck are you wearing? Bitch, I swear to God, if you don't take that off immediately, I could ask you the same question over my dead, cold body. <laughs> Both oh, I rather that over. But you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, also, I love them both dressing as that character. Uh, short comic, my friend gave me this idea, so here you go. Fantabulistic luck, my dear secretariat. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> Your eyelash transplant was a success. Thank you, sweetie, but where's Mr. White? Who do you think gave you his eyelashes? <laughs> no! I love this, like, setup, this joke, but also what a fucking hilarious pair to do this with. It's so good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jizzy Foxington, uh, a perk of waiting two weeks is I mean, I actually have the time and energy to finish some cleaned up stuff, despite life and injuries. One, I actually accidentally actually really came to like pain. I did for the last panel that stupid reaction comic I did a few weeks ago, so I cleaned it up. He's awful and gross. Someone please set him on fire. Now, this looks really good. Uh, this looks like yeah. a professional emote of just like, swing, you know? Hell yeah. And the, like the, the lighting and the shading on it is, is really, really clean. Hell yeah. Uh, and whenever Apollo blinks during his thinking pose, to me it looks like he's squinting really, really hard and pressing a finger to his forehead because he has a headache. So here he is. <laughs> <sighs> I got a migraine. Uh, <laughs> incredible, JC Foxington. Thank you so much. Rainy Meadows with Welcome Back, guys. I do this after being gripped by a powerful urge to see Trucy in the Star Princess gown from Phantom in the Opera. This art is two years old at this point, but I'm still very proud of it. Wow, no, that's incredible. Yeah, very pretty. Really, really, really good. Like the the, the work you did on the fabric and like the uh, frills and stuff is incredible. Awesome work, Rainy Meadows, hell yeah. Uh, Mint Mango with, I'm not sure how long I'll be able to commit to this, but I'm gonna try to draw as many of the characters as I can in this style, starting with the big three. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. Uh, the poses Please. on all of them are like, Exactly them. To a T. Cutie. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, I love this a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's bad. Scientifically speaking, Snack of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I love the freckles on the face, too. And the hair. The lighting on the hair yeah. is incredible. Hell yeah, yeah Mint Mango. Thank you so much. Pastel Sunsets with Hello. I have some Emma's I to practice coloring with some new brushes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love all these expressions of just like not giving a fuck. I got uh -huh. some snackoos to, to munch right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt Pet on guard with reupload because I added another drawing. Multiple art stuff. Let's go. An animatic I made like seven months ago. It was supposed to be longer, but I overestimated myself. Enjoy. This next song I wrote for my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Bitch! <Thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, what do you get? For just two bucks a month? <laughs> Sorry, hard brain fart. <laughs> when somebody saying some dumb shit, look at them like this and say, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> These are so good. Not bad and guard that ruled. <laughs> this could not be any weirder. When I know I'm ready, why did I get stuck with the janky old broke hobo lawyer? This is this is a, a fucking across the Spider Verse, right? Reference. And he also has the the spider in his hat, but oh it's, it's yeah, 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 Peter B. Parker and Miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time you see me, this court will be eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> S -s 
spare evidence? Oh, sorry. Spare, spare evidence? Spare evidence, ma'am? That's the... the <laughs> yeah. Next time you see me, uh -huh. this town will be eating out of the palm of my hand. Spare <laughs> chain. Give me your hat! Phoenix used iron defense. It was highly questionable. <laughs> oh, it's Dawn. It's Dawn from Pokemon, the protagonist character. Oh, okay. That has that hat. <laughs> um, can I get my hat back now? It smells like wet Luxio. That's really good. <laughs> Instead of wet dog. 